Hi, Taurus. I know you guys feel really super neglected right now. Welcome to your love reading for mid-June to mid-July. I'm not neglecting you. I just did the signs in order, starting with Gemini and ending with you guys. So you're not really being neglected at all. And I'm sorry if you feel that way. Um, so this love reading, I think that this is going to be the last time that I actually do the love readings this way. Um, I think I'm going to switch it up for, from here on because, um, I've been getting some really negative comments about not wanting to see what the other person's up to. They want to see what's going, you guys want to see what's going on in your lives. But I figured I'd do that because in the general readings, a lot of times you get the love advice there. So that's why I look at other, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments if you want me to keep doing it this way or switch it up. There will still be an extended version even when I switch it up, so that's not going to change. But um, this is the energy of the person that you are bringing into the reading. Also, I want to let you guys know just really quick that I only have three of these clear crystal quartz necklaces left. Um, we started off with 12, like two weeks ago, and we only have three left. They're handmade silver. Um, each one is authentic and different, and I infuse it with Reiki before I send it to you. So um, it's a very healing crystal to wear around your neck. Um, okay. This is for the energy of the person that you're bringing into the reading. So it could be a significant other, twin flame, soulmate, husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, it could just be a crush. Somebody, even if you're not speaking with this person, you could still have their energy present with you. And so you're kind of just seeing what's going on with them. So we're going to look into your person's headspace, heart space, environment, and then the energy between the two of you with Oracle cards. If you would like to get the extended where I clarify each position with tarot, you can do it one of two ways. Um, you can go to Patreon and subscribe there where you get all of the extendeds and you get exclusive twin flame readings. Or you can go to my website and order the video separately. Um, and I really appreciate your guys' patience on this. The energy's been super heavy, so uh, I'm not trying to neglect anybody. <laughs> Just so you know, not trying to neglect anybody. Okay. So let's see, Taurus, what is going on in your person's energy? Let's see what's going on in their headspace. I wonder if they're going to... If the cards are going to work with me. Oh, there we go. So in your person's headspace, we have balance. This is temperance in the traditional tarot. So I feel like they're trying to find um, a healthy balance between their heart and their mind. That's what temperance is. It's also about um, healing and Allowing yourself to be, to, for, to have the patience to heal. So I do feel like your person's trying to balance things out. They probably have some decisions they need to make. And in order for them to make these decisions, they need to be a little bit calmer when it comes to making them. Let's see what's going on in your person's heart space. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So in your person's heart space, we have darkest fears. This is the nine of swords in the traditional tarot, which is interesting because swords are actually thoughts. So the fact that they have this in their heart space, I feel like they're not, because your heart space is a lot of intuition. And so I feel like you're, they're not really um, listening to their intuition much right now. It's more of a thought process. It's more of um, it feels like they're thinking over feeling 
if you will. It's like they're overthinking the process. They're overthinking the things they're doing, you know, and the fear it's, I'll be interested to see what we, what happens when we clarify this, because it feels like the fear is an illusion. Like, I mean, I say fear is an illusion anyways, because why are you afraid of something that hasn't happened yet? But I feel like in the decisions that they're having to make, whatever it is that they're afraid of the most, whatever decision they're afraid of the most, it's like they're, it's, it's almost feels like um, it's a knot in their stomach, more in their heart space. And the solar plexus and this and the heart space are connected. So um, it also feels like they're not really breathing much. It really feels like they're not breathing much. I don't know what that was. It was really interesting. Okay. So let's see what's going on in your person's environment. All right, we got two. Yeah. So whatever's going on in their head and their heart space is showing up in their environment. So we have spread your wings, which is the two of wands, and awaiting results, which is the seven of pentacles. So they're planting seeds. They're having to make decisions and plant seeds. But while they're waiting, I think the fear is in the waiting. I think the fear is in like not having the patience, right? The temperance in their head space, the fear in their heart space. So whatever decisions they're trying to make, um, it feels very tedious to them. It's like, oh my gosh, could it happen already? I'm just so tired of sitting here and waiting for something to unfold. It's weird. I don't know what that is. Something keeps falling from the ceiling. All right. Okay. So let's see what's going on in the energy between the two of you. like looking up it, I don't see anything it's like coming out of thin air or something I don't know it's very weird it's just like anyway all right so the energy between the two of you is control this is actually the strength card in the traditional tarot so um I feel like your bond together is really strong and I feel like you guys give each other strength so, um, it, it's very, uh, whatever it is that they're going through, it's like you're the strength that's kind of holding them together, which I really, really like. I, I love that. So, um, yeah, very interesting. I'm going to, I'm interested to see when we clarify this, why it's so, why there's, what they're so afraid of. Um, I feel like they're afraid of the unknown. I feel like they're afraid of the waiting part, the patience part. It's almost as if because they don't know what's going to happen in the future, whether it's with you or whether it's like going on in their life separate from you, um, they're afraid of the unknown aspects of it. They're afraid of the unknown part of it. So yeah, um, Looking forward to your extended. Thank you so much for your patience. I love you guys. I will see you, excuse me, I will see you for your general readings that will start coming out tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.